this is Katie. In today's video, it is dark outside. That's why the lighting is, I mean, the lighting's always bad in my videos, <laughs> but the lighting is extra weird because it's nighttime. It is 7.30, it's getting dark. Today's video, I'm going to be doing an updated living in my car nighttime routine. I did a morning routine a few weeks ago and I did a nighttime routine years ago. I probably did another morning routine right after that as well a few years ago because I was living in my car in this car and then uh, I moved into an apartment for a little while and now I'm back in my car. I've been back in my car for over two months at this point. By the time you watch this, maybe closer to three months. And I just wanted to give you guys an updated nighttime routine. So if you're excited for this video as well as other like lifestyle, travel, car life, living in a car content, I really hope that you're subscribed to my channel. Just click that button right there. It's super easy. It takes like two seconds. And then while you're there, you might as well click the little notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload, which is generally twice a week. And yeah, without further ado, let's get into my living in a car night time routine. Okay, so right now I am in a big parking lot, obviously. This is not where I'm gonna be sleeping, but I just wanted to do the first part of my nighttime routine in this parking lot just while I'm here. It's about 7.30, um, so I'm not going to bed yet, but lately I have been going to where I'm sleeping pretty early. Like between like 8.30 and nine, I've been going there. Um, Cause it's already dark. And cause I've just been liking being in bed a little earlier lately. But anyway, I'm just gonna start my nighttime routine now. So it's 7.30. So let's see if the lighting cooperates. Who knows? Uh, my lighting, I don't know what's been going on with my camera lately, but I feel like my lighting's been extra bad, but we'll see. So I am going to use these simple uh, cleansing wipes to take my makeup off. Let's put my glasses down. Can you guys believe that I was off the road, that I was living in an apartment, not my car for like over a year and a half? From like, what was it? Like November-ish of 2019 to like May of this year? Like, I can't believe that. That is so crazy to me. Um, I was in Charleston and then I was in Nashville. And it's just, it was so crazy to me. But, um, and then in May, I went um, to New York for a little while. And then I've been back on the road since the summer. But yeah, I wanted to do a nighttime routine because I know that you guys really liked that video when I did it a few years ago. And there are some changes. Not many, but some um, to what I'm doing now. So I just wanted to show you chat with you guys, hang out with you for a little bit. Yeah, I'm just taking my makeup off. Do, 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 do. I also recorded a couple other videos today, so you're gonna see me in this outfit and this hair several times in several videos. Oh, P.S., my hands are clean. Um, I just went to the restroom and I washed my hands really, really well. So I know um, a lot of like skincare people would say that using one of these does not count as washing your face. That's fine, I understand. Um, if you wanna use one of these and then go into a truck stop and like quickly wash your face in the sink, you could totally do that, I don't do that. Uh, there have literally been days and days and days on end where sometimes I don't shower and I just use these and my skin has been pretty great. So for me, this totally works, but I definitely know that uh, like if you're a dermatologist watching this or a skincare expert or something, you're probably like, Katie, no, wash your face. Uh, but sometimes if I'm not showering for a few days, I don't wash my face for a few days. And uh, I've been doing this for years and it's been fine. So just letting you guys know. But if you do want to wash your face, you could very easily go into a truck stop, just bring like a little thing of cleanser with you or something and rinse your face in the sink if you wanted to do that. Or you could just go to the gym and shower. <laughs> but uh, no, uh, -uh. not me. Okay, I am back. All of my makeup is off. My skin is clean. And I'm going to put on my nighttime moisturizer. So, don't make fun of me for this packaging. So this is the Pacifica Wake Up Beautiful Super Hydration Sleepover Mask. I use this as my nighttime moisturizer most nights. It's a sleepover mask, which I guess you're only supposed to use like three to four times a week, but my skin is really dry. And so I can use this like most nights and I'm I'm good. But this was almost empty. Like I couldn't squeeze out anymore. And so I cut the top off, um, which is such a good like hack because I did this yesterday. Look how much is still left. Um, even though it wouldn't squeeze out, but there still is always some like in the tube of like a moisturizer or whatever, maybe toothpaste and stuff too. And what else comes in a tube? I don't know, other face things like face wash or whatever. So then I was like, oh, this is still another few days worth of moisturizer. How am I gonna cover it? So I took I took the sticker from, an, uh, from another one of these and I covered it and then I put a hair tie. So innovative, 
innovative. Anyway, so I'm just gonna take some of this moisturizer. Um, I love this moisturizer. I've been using it for years. I think I first started using it like five or six years ago. And then I stopped and I tried a bunch of other things. If you guys have watched me for a while, you know that I got obsessed with like trying a lot of really expensive skincare and stuff and makeup and all that kind of stuff. And especially for skincare, I realized that honestly, the stuff that works best for my skin, all of it is drugstore. So I got this at Target for, I think it's like $17 or something. And if you have really dry skin, I would recommend it. I love it. I think my skin has been doing really, really great. During the day, I use the Ordinary products. I use the Ordinary Niacinamide, their Hyaluronic Acid, their HA Cream, and their Buffet. And the Ordinary is really inexpensive. Most of their products are like six bucks. So anyway, but for nighttime, I love this. Um, again, I think I used it like six or seven years ago. Then I stopped to try a bunch of other stuff, but then I just, I came back to it and this is probably just what I'm gonna use for a very long time. I really, 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 really like it. And it's not too expensive. And they have it at Target and I don't know, online and stuff. So anyway, I'm gonna cover this back up. <laughs> If you have like a baggie or something, that'll probably work better, but I'm working with what I got. All right, next, I'm gonna brush my teeth quick. Uh, you guys know I have my Shine toothbrush. That is a Sonic toothbrush, and I have my toothpaste, which is Tom's anti-plaque and whitening toothpaste. So I'm just gonna brush my teeth in the car. Again, oh, I can put my glasses back on. <laughs> um, again, if you want to do this in a truck stop bathroom or something, you can. I just do it in the car. I don't know what else to tell you. Anyway, all right, I'm gonna brush my teeth and I'll be right back. Okay, teeth are all brushed. Um, I'm going to put on my lip balm. This is the Jouer Lip Enhancer. I really, really like this. Jouer is spelled J-O-U-E-R. This is a little expensive. But for lip products, sometimes I do spend a little bit more money because I have a gluten allergy and I don't like to put anything with gluten on my mouth. Um, and this is gluten free. But Target has, it's like the natrium. I have it in my purse, hold on one second. Almost like a dupe for this. Like a really thick moisturizing lip balm that's gluten free as well. Yeah, natrium uh, phyto glow lip balm. I have the clear one, they have ones in other colors. Okay, I think my camera thinks that this is a face so I'm gonna move it because I wonder if that's why the lighting keeps going in and out um, anyway this one is very similar to this one in terms of, like consistency and like how it moisturizes so um, yeah so I keep that one in my purse but I still have this one and I always I am one of those people like I cannot go to sleep without lip balm on my lips I cannot do it Okay, and I'm gonna put my toothbrush away. So what I've been doing, okay, so I have my day bag, right? Which I would take if I'm showering at a friend's house or a campground or the gym or something, I have my day bag um, that I would put my clothes in and my towel in and then also has like all my skincare and my shower stuff in it, right? And my day bag is right like on the floor in the passenger seat, but I keep this bag in my car. I mean, I'll put it in my day bag if I use my day bag out, you know, but I will keep this just right in between the seats and it has my toothbrush, my toothpaste, um, some makeup wipes and my um, hand cream. I'm not gonna put this on yet. I'm gonna put it on after um, like I set up the rest of the car. But if you guys, especially now that we're getting into the colder months, if you guys have dry hands, like if they start to bleed, if they crack, get working hands. O'Keefe's working hands, this is the best. It's like eight bucks at like Walmart Target. It's the best hand cream I've ever used in my entire life, like seriously. Um, and I also got the foot cream too, which I always forget to use. I'm not, I don't know, I always like forget to put foot cream on, but I have the foot one as well. But I'm gonna put this on a little bit later. But yeah, I just keep this bag in between the seats because this is stuff I use multiple times a day, or at least, at least once a day. I also keep the, the moisturizer in there and stuff, you know, just like a couple things. Because I used to just have them sitting in between the seats, like in the little center console thing, whatever you call it. But I realized that putting them in a bag makes it like a little like neater and cleaner and tidier. And a lot of you guys know that uh, I'm a pretty messy person, but lately, honestly, like the last couple months, like since I've been back in the car again, I've wanted things to be much neater and tidier. And so this helps me with that. Like nothing gets lost, nothing falls, you know, it's just all in one place. That like helps this little center thing, like stay a little bit more organized. Um, but so anyway, the rest of what I do, obviously like I set up the car and I cover the windows um, and then I'll show you like how I sleep now because it is very different than how I used to sleep. Um, but all of that I'm going to do once I get to the place that I am sleeping at, which is 
going to be in like 45 minutes or an hour or so. So for now, I'm going to go. Um, I have been crocheting a lot lately. Um, and so that's what I'm going to be doing tonight. I don't know if it's necessarily part of my nighttime routine, um, but tonight I am going to be crocheting for the next half hour or hour or whatever. And then uh, once I go to the place that I'm sleeping, I will turn the camera back on and we will finish all this stuff. All right, bye guys. Hey guys, it is like 8.45 and uh, I already yawned like two minutes ago. So <laughs> so um, I drove to where I'm sleeping and uh, my car is still on because I am charging my phone. Normally I would park and turn my car off obviously, but um, I parked, shut my lights off, make sure my doors are locked. And then what I do right when I park, I immediately cover the windows. Um, and while I'm, oh, I'm gonna take my earrings off. While I'm covering the windows, I will talk to you about how I cover them, obviously, and then also like why they're not tinted and all that kind of stuff. So I'm kind of like rearranging my car a little bit and like reorganizing it and stuff. And so I did have everything that I used to cover the windows in the front seat, but today I just put them in the back seat. So we'll see, we'll see how it works. But anyway, they're in the back, so let me grab them. Um, I use two towels and two t-shirts. And I'm also going to put everything else in the front seat as well that I'm going to be using. So my pajama pants that I have back there, my blankets. Again, I had all this in the front, but the front just had a lot of stuff. And like I said earlier, like I kinda just wanna have less clutter but I have a lot of stuff in the car right now so anyway um, I'm going to cover the windows right now so I use two t-shirts uh, one Raina Kindo this one's friends and then two towels so um, essentially I is this gonna help I take these pins you guys know on my ceiling I have all these slidey pins and stuff and I take them and I like have it open like this. I put part of it through a t-shirt like so. And then I, here I'll show you. And then can you see, I slide it through the cloth of my ceiling. I just slide it right down. You don't have to worry about fastening it or anything. I just slide it right down. And so I just do this as quickly as possible. So if you watched my like sleeping in the car video that I posted, what, a month ago or something, you would know that I'm currently, this is a mess, I gotta get rid of this, whatever. You know that I'm currently um, sleeping in the front seat. When I used to sleep in my car years ago, I slept in the back seat. Um, it's more comfortable, I was able to lie down flat, but this time around, since I've moved back into my car, I have more stuff because I started a crochet business, which a lot of you guys know, um, and yarn takes up a lot of room. And then all the packing materials and stuff, um, it just takes up a lot of room. And I don't wanna get a bigger car. I don't wanna get a roof rack just for the yarn. Um, and so essentially it's just, it does take up more room and that's all in the back seat. And so I've been sleeping in the front seat. It's not horrible sleeping in the front seat, but it's definitely not as good as sleeping in the back seat. I'm going to grab these guys um, to interrupt my own story. Um, so I have these two little um, window shades that I will put right there. If you could see that, I'm sure you'll be able to see this one a little bit better, maybe. So here's my t-shirt. There you go. And then I put this right here. I just kind of lean it. And so it covers the rest of the window. Um, and then I take this big one. Oh, goodness. And um, I gotta put it behind you. Hi, hello. Um, and this goes on my windshield. Don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. Don't do it. And this just goes right on my windshield. Um, I will link these below. I'm not sure if this exact set is still available, but I will link it below if I can find it. And then I fold these down to hold. Um, anyway, what was I talking about? Yeah, so that's just long story short. I'm sleeping in the front seat right now. It's not horrific, but definitely would not be my preference for long term. 
Um, okay, so the t-shirts are up. And then I take the two towels and I hang those up as well. And so this is what I do. So I'm gonna actually put my seat down first. I have my sleeping bag here. I'm just gonna move that. And I always take this off, the headrest. Can you see anything? No. Um, it's hard to do a nighttime routine, guys, because it's dark. Okay, is that okay? I can't tell. I always take the headrest off because A, you can fold the seat back a little bit further and B, it like hits my head. So I take that off and then I just put my seat down. As far as it goes, it does not go flat. I wish it did, but it doesn't. But that's okay. So yeah, then I just take these again with the pins. Um, these pins, depending where you get them and whatever, they come in small and big. Um, I prefer the big ones to hang stuff up, but the small ones work perfectly fine too. So anyway, usually this only takes me a minute or two to do this completely, but since I'm talking, like I'm going a little slower. So I just kind of slide that there. And then I put this like back here. So that goes there. So I know a lot of you guys, and I'm gonna have an FAQ. It's, the FAQ is probably gonna go up before this, um, but a lot of you guys ask why I don't have my windows tinted. Honestly, if I had my windows tinted, I still would want to cover them. And a lot of people also ask like, why do I hang stuff up like this? Why don't I get something more proper? Like it's so obvious someone's sleeping in the car. Like, yeah, where I sleep, I'm always at truck stops, rest stops, like big places where there's other people sleeping. So it's not a secret that there's someone sleeping in here. That's not why I cover, I don't cover my windows to act like someone's not sleeping in here. I cover my windows for privacy for me, um, to block the sun a little bit. And also so people don't see who is sleeping in this car. Um, but where I am right now, there's at least a dozen other cars with all their windows covered and everyone sleeping. Um, a lot of people don't use the pins and they just put the t-shirts like in the um, window or in the door and then like close the window or close the door. You could totally do that as well. I just have always used the pins. So anyway, so then I just need to do this. one so I also like will pin the bottom as well so they're not just like hanging and like flying around and then that is it so now my car is completely covered my phone charged yet it's at 91% that's enough so I'm gonna shut my car off um, I keep my keys just like right up here where the camera is like right there again make sure the doors are locked and then all I do after this is put my pajamas on and like get ready for bed so if you watched one of my recent videos from a couple weeks ago of like how to sleep in your car in the winter it's literally later in the year than that video but it's warmer like it was like 85 or something ridiculous today in Montana um, it's early October when I'm recording this and it's only gonna only it's only gonna get to like 45 tonight or something which in the car in montana in the dry um is not that cold so i don't need to like super super layer up and so i don't even know if i'm gonna put my socks on i'm not a sock person i only really wear them like if i have certain shoes to wear them with or if i'm freezing so i'll probably wait to see later if i'm freezing to put my socks on but so i'm just gonna put i just have some pants i'll probably keep this shirt on yeah maybe i'll just keep this t-shirt on and just put these pants on because it's not cold right now it's 63 degrees at nine o'clock um low of 45 but i don't even think it's actually getting to 45 it's getting to 46 at 7 a.m overnight it's going to be like 50 which is really really nice in the car so i'll probably use my hoodie and use the blankets but it's not going to be freezing i'm not going to show you me changing so i'll just i'll do this after the video but this is what i would do next like i'd put my pajamas on and then what else okay so then i'm going to put my lotion on quick um i actually the one that i showed you before is a brand new one i have this one this is why i have a brand new one um let me see i might have to cut this too this working hands oh no there's enough okay it's just the best lotion guys like the, it's just the best if you have really really dry skin they also have like the foot cream like i showed you they have other body creams they have like an eczema cream they have a bunch of stuff okay so after that 
Um, there's only really a couple other things that I do. I'm just trying to explain like everything that I do. So I do have a pillow. I don't use this pillow as a pillow because just of how this is set up, like the angle or something, this is too much of a pillow. So I still use a pillow, but it's usually either a sweatshirt, a hoodie, or um, biscuit, my stuffed animal. <laughs> this is my pillow. That's why he's so flat. <laughs> I've used him as a pillow for like six or seven years. Hi, Bubba. Um, I call all animals Bubba, by the way. I don't know if you guys knew that. Um, anyway, so I don't use this pillow as a pillow, but I use it to um, cover, I'll show you. I use it to cover right here because this seatbelt buckle doesn't go down. Like it doesn't fully go down. Um, and so I use this, and then also all this is here and whatever. So I use this, I do that. And so I'm not like leaning on the buckle. It's not super uncomfortable. Um, and also when I do this, I'm able to lie down and stretch my legs. I'm really short. This is a great angle, I'm sure. I'm really short. I'm fat. I thought I was five two and a half most of my adult life. Apparently, I'm five three. Did I grow, or was I wrong? Uh, both. I have no idea. But anyway, so the pillow covers the buckle, which is really nice because if I don't have the pillow there, the buckle like digs into my leg, and it's nice because it gives me like a good, um, like a recliner almost, and I can stretch my legs. Um, sometimes I'll also stretch my legs down, like when you're driving and then a lot of the times because i toss and turn a lot when i sleep which is really hard to do in a car <laughs> but it's definitely still possible i still definitely do it but so a lot of the times i will sleep just like curled up either way and i'll do the same thing if i want to face this way i'll kind of just curl up like this obviously not with jeans on and then I'll lie down with biscuit yeah so that's kind of how i sleep and then i do have two blankets Again, it's pretty nice out right now, so I might only use one to start, and then if I get cold, I might add the other one. And then, yeah, so what time is it? 9.05. One of the things about living in a car, at least for me, let me know in the comments if you guys have ever lived in a car and this happens to you too. I get tired earlier because I think my sleep cycle gets very like regulated with the sun. And so when it gets dark out, my, my brain and my body are like, okay, it's time to go lie down now. And then the sun comes up, okay, time to wake up. And so literally when it starts to get dark, it's like eight o'clock and like, if I'm just hanging out in my car or, or working or doing something, like I start to get a little tired, a little bit. I still stay up sometimes till like 11 or midnight, but I start to get a little tired and kind of want to wind down and I will, you know, I'll lie down, I'll text my friends, I'll watch YouTube or check Instagram or put on a, a TV show or something. Um, but tonight, because I have a couple crochet orders, this is, all I accomplished in the, the hour I was gone, which is not enough. I need to I need to double this for what I'm making with this. But uh, anyway, I have a bunch of crochet orders. And so for the next hour or two, probably until I fall asleep, I need to keep crocheting this. But otherwise, yeah, I would just be on my phone probably. Um, I really wanna start reading more. And so I think that might be a good thing to do for a little while before I fall asleep as well. But yeah, I think that's, I think that's kind of it. I'm trying to think if I forgot anything. Make sure that you know where your keys are. Make sure your doors are locked. Make sure your lights are off. Um, I don't open my windows. People ask me all the time, how do you get like circulation or ventilation or air? And I'm like, I don't know. A car is not completely airtight. Like I've always been fine. I never have my windows open. This is just kind of how I cover them. Um, I don't want my windows tinted because honestly, even if my windows were tinted, I would still want to cover them. Like it would still weird me out. Like I would still think that people could see through or something. Like I would still want to cover them. So it's just kind of pointless for me to tint my windows. But I mean, if your windows are tinted and you feel safe with that, that's awesome. I just know with me personally that I would still want to cover them. But yeah, I think that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed this like updated nighttime routine while I'm living in my car. A lot of you guys know that I've lived in my car on and off for nine years. I have slept all different ways. I think I started sleeping like this. Then I slept across the front seats then most of the time I slept in the back, which was the most comfortable. That was the best. Um, but I just can't do that right now with all the yarn. <laughs> and so once all the yarn is gone, um, I might see if I can go back to doing that. But this for now is fine. Just long term, I don't think this would be ideal. But this is really what I do every night when I'm living in my car, uh, when I'm on the road. Because you guys know I live in my car so that I can be on the road and travel the United States. And uh, yeah, 
I think this is really just all that I do. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please make sure that you're subscribed for more car content, travel content, living in a car content, lifestyle too. I really, really, really love having you guys here. And so I really hope that you're subscribed and hit the notification bell as well to be notified when I upload, which is generally twice a week. And go follow me on Instagram as well. I do stories and stuff a lot over there. And yeah, I think that's gonna be it. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope that you guys have a wonderful day. I love you, Jesus loves you, and I'll talk to you later. Bye. Okay, let's go see. Come on, biscuit. Hmm. Good night, guys.